Well, we kind of have an issue here. That issue being, about a week ago or so, maybe two weeks at this point, my truck decided that it uh, didn't like its spark plugs anymore. And um, yeah, shot this plug right out the side of the block. So um, today we're gonna see if we can fix this. So after talking with some people online that gave a lot of help as to how I'm actually supposed to get these out, because this one shot itself out of the block all the other seven are still in there, but as you can tell, I'm missing half this plug. The other half of the threads are um, still in the block, so I need to get those other threads out. So what I have here is a torch um, and some of these little extractor bit things. Um, I was told to use the number five. This plug was really bad, so this metal piece just kind of comes off. Which is going to make, I guarantee you, all seven other ones, I'm going to go to turn this to turn the plug out, and it's going to snap. So, every single plug is going to break, I guarantee it, coming out of the truck. So, um, these are probably the original plugs, too. They're Motorcraft plugs. I'm willing to bet that these are the original plugs in the truck. Um, which is kind of why I didn't change them. Because I figured that they would snap when I changed them. Um... But then they just snapped on their own, so I don't know. Now we gotta figure it out. But the hopefully we can get them out because I really don't want to pay somebody to fix this for me. So yeah, that's uh, what we're gonna try to do today. So we're gonna go check this out and see if these fit in there. If they don't, we gotta take a trip to the parts store. And if it does fit, we still gotta take a trip to the parts store because I gotta get new plugs and wires and stuff. But yeah. If these don't fit, I'm going to have to go buy some that aren't tapered, so, yeah. The other thing is, it's like windy and like 15, 20 degrees out, so, yeah, it's not um, ideal working on the truck weather. So, Alright, so I'm going to uh, uh, fit myself in the fender here. Let's see if these fit. So, I covered it with a rag to make sure no junk got in there. Um, Alright, so this is the number five. It's really far down in there. Ah, fuck. Alright guys, I am freaking ecstatic right now because this has to be the freaking best day of my freaking life right now because I was so pissed before. Like, I, my dad had the little extractor bits like I showed you guys earlier and it didn't really fit in there because it was hitting the little metal piece that goes over the top of the plug, the little prong. And I was like getting pretty fed up with it because uh, there's really not a lot of room to work in there. and. It, it was the when I put the extractor bit in it was hitting the freaking metal piece and I was like man What a freaking pain in the ass. I just kind of gave up because it was so damn cold out because it's like I think it's like seven degrees here with the wind chill So I was not having 
a very fun time. And then big shout out to Evil Ways on Instagram because I messaged him and I was like, nope, fuck this, not doing it. I'm bringing it to a shop. I'm not doing it. Fuck it. I am not doing this. It, this is ridiculous. He was like, did you even try it? And I was like, yeah, I kind of tried it like <laughs> a little bit. Like I put the bit in there and it didn't go in all the way. And he was like, well, just use a hammer and just smack it in. He goes, I've done like 30, 50 of these, whatever. He said, just take it, smack it in. It's not going to break off. And I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll, uh, I guess we'll give it another try because I don't know. I get really discouraged with things when it comes to like, if I can't do it, I just get pissed off. And then this is kind of the, the natural progression with me is if I can't do something and it's just not working. I tend to just like completely check out. I'll be like, nope, fuck this, ain't doing it, nope. And then I'll come back to it a little bit later and then I'll I'll get it done. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just get very fed up easily. And then I think about it for a little bit, talk to some people and then they're like, yeah, we'll just do it anyway. And then I just end up going back and doing it. Basically, all I did was I took the bit, smacked it in there with the hammer. And then I was like, oh shit. Um, I didn't want it to get stuck in there because the bit wouldn't come out. And I was like, well, I guess I'll use the uh, ratchet and just kind of loosen it a little bit and try to get the bit out so that I could heat the um, the piece of the plug that was still inside the block. I was going to heat it with the torch because all the videos I read on the internet, on uh, well, all the videos I watch on YouTube, say that you should heat up the, um, the part that's stuck in the block, the part of the plug that's still in the block. You should heat that up before you try to bring it out because it'll come out a lot easier and I was like all right but then it wouldn't come out so I was like okay so I started turning it and I could see that the plug inside was spinning and oh man best freaking thing best thing I don't know I'm I'm high on life right now guys because it's just amazing that it happened how it did I don't know if it's because I've been soaking it in PB Blaster for the last week or what, but we got it out. So now what I'm doing is going to the parts store. I'm going to buy some new plugs, some new wires. I'm probably just going to do the one plug for now because it is freaking stupid cold out and I'll just do the other ones in the springtime or when it's warmer out or when I can get it in the garage because I really still, I just hate working out in the cold, especially seven degree cold. Um, I know some people do that for a living and they're probably like, it's, it's nothing, man. Just freaking do it. But I don't like it. You know, it just really sparks my temper even more if it's cold out because <laughs> then I just get frustrated even more. So I'm going to fix the one for today. I probably will just use the same old plug wire too. I'll probably just throw a new plug in there, but I'll buy all new plugs and wires, but uh, I'll probably just use the old plug wire just to get it going again. But that's where we're headed now. We're headed to the parts store. But I am just, I don't know, big shout out to Evil Ways on Instagram because he, I don't know, if he didn't basically tell me like, hey, just do it. <laughs> like, then I probably would have just gotten pissed off and brought it to a shop and had them do it. So, yeah. That's, uh... I don't know guys, I'm just happy right now. I'm just, I'm just pretty happy. All right guys, so I just got one plug. I'll, uh, looks about right. That ain't what the old one looks like. But I just got one plug for now. They didn't have all the motorcraft plugs and I'm only putting motorcraft plugs in it because I think that was the original plug and it lasted 67 freaking thousand miles so I mean I'm a firm believer in motorcraft at this point because well I mean they are a Ford part so Ford wouldn't put their name on it if they if it was a shitty part so um, yeah I just got the one plug for now uh, I'm not gonna do the other ones today I didn't get wires either because I'm only gonna do the one plug, so I'll uh I'll I'll do that when I uh you know I'll do the wires and uh, the other plugs when it's warmer out. But uh, I don't know, guys.
I'm just freaking super relieved. Best freaking thing in the world. So we're gonna go back and put this plug in and fire up and go take it for a drive, I guess. It's been a couple weeks since I've driven the thing, so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get this new plug in. All right. All right, so, oh, by the way. Oh. Um, I don't know what kind of transmission this is, but this is the transmission my dad's gonna put in the Blue Trans Am. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think that is. All right. Yeah, she runs. I got the new plug in the wire on there. It's the old wire, but it's got a new plug in it, so. Let's see how she goes. <laughs> Sounds a lot better than it did before. That's for sure. I don't know if I showed you guys in video what it sounded like, but. It definitely sounds a lot better with, without a big hole in the head. Let's see if I gotta check engine lights still. Uh, yeah, I've gotta check engine lights still. But that might not be for the plug. Why the fuck is my thing blink beeping at me? It's beeping because my door's open? What the fuck? That's never happened before. The beeper didn't work before, I don't think. But now it does. That's really weird. So she sounds if I give a little gas. I feel like it's running on all eight, so. That's good. I couldn't really tell if I had the plug wire down all the way on the plug. It's smoking right now, but that's uh, that's PB Blaster burning off the headers or exhaust manifolds. So that's what all that smoke is right now. As long as it's smoking from both sides, yeah, which it is. That's what it is. I used like a whole can of PB Blaster on this thing. So I was gonna do the other plugs too. So that's just gotta burn off and not catch on fire, hopefully. Tell you what though, that beeping is gonna piss me off. It never did that before. <laughs> That's gonna piss me off. But since I have this big hole in my floor for my four-wheel drive shifter from the body lift, it's all full of smoke in here right now. But that's it's it's just from the PV blaster, like I said, it's just burning off. But yeah, hopefully that burns off. I, I probably shouldn't have used that much. But it worked. The freaking thing came out super easy, so it worked, but I sprayed all the plugs over here too, so they're really soaked. Let's see if my check engine light went out yet. This thing has like an intermittent check engine light, so I don't know. Yeah, it's still on. I might go to Michael's house and run the code. I'm gonna give him a call right now, see if he's home. All right, so Michael's not home for me to use his uh, code reader, but I might just go buy one. It's probably not a bad idea to have one, right buddy? So yeah, I think we're gonna go take the truck down, buy a code reader at, you know, parts place I was probably just at. And um, yeah, we'll see what the code is. It's probably just something stupid, OBD2 cents or something like that, because it does have a code that comes on and off from time to time. Um, but it's, I don't know. I'd like to know what it is, because it's been on for as long as I've owned the truck, I just want to make sure it's not something new because of the whole uh, plug ordeal that we just went through. So, yep, we're going to get a code reader. I'm just going to keep petting Buddy on face because he really likes it. He's getting old, though. Look at his nose. It's starting to get pink. Oh, Buddy. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Come on. Give it. What are you doing? Give me your paw. No? He's not in the right position. Good boy. All right, so all the uh, 
PV blast just came off the uh, exhaust manifolds now, so pretty good. It's running good. Sounds like it's you know running on all eight. So we're just gonna go down and buy a cheap code reader because Michael's not home. Um, I can't use his. So oh, it smells like PV blaster in here though. It's freaking gross. Cause yeah, my light's still on. So we're just gonna go buy a code reader and uh, see what that is. It's probably O2 sensor, but I'd kind of like to know. Well, let's uh, let's hope I didn't. Let's just hope I don't blow another spark plug <laughs> on our way to the friggin' Walmart. We'll probably go to Walmart. I can get this to stand up right. All right. Uh, so I just came back down to the parts store and bought a, uh, a scanner. I had them scan it before just in case it was something stupid and Which I have two codes. I have one for the evap malfunction Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm not concerned about that at all um, the second one which is the reason why I bought the scanner is for Cylinder four is misfiring, which is the cylinder that I just put the plug in so uh, I'm gonna take this scanner and I'm gonna clear the code, which I could have had them clear the code, but I'm gonna scan. I'm gonna clear the code with this, uh, and then we'll be able to see if it comes back, and I'll just be able to rescan it again and be able to tell if it's um, instead of coming back here and having them scan it and tell me that it's still misfiring or it's still the evap. I'll just be able to check it on here because I'm not. I'm, the evap one is going to come back on, but the cylinder four misfire might not come back on. It just might need to be cleared. So, ugh, that's what we're going to do with this doohickey. If he, if he has a, I don't know, if it works. We'll see though. Right now. All right. Let's see, enter scan setup, scanning, uh, I gotta put my key on I think, hold on. Alright, codes found two, read codes, oh no, go back up. Read codes. Uh, there's that one, and there's the cylinder four misfire. So let's see if we clear this code. Oh, I keep missing it, and it doesn't scroll up. It just scrolls down. Uh, erase codes. Uh, yes, I would like to erase the codes. Erase done. Press any key. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's unplug this. Start her up. Alright, so my light's not on. So we're going to drive it home. We're going to see if it uh, if the light comes back on after we just cleared that. And uh, we'll see if it still has the misfire code. Because if it does, then we'll, uh, we'll have to figure out how to uh, not make it misfire for now. Uh, I'm going to do all the plugs in the springtime, but I just really wanted to do this as a temporary fix to, you know, be able to drive the truck and stuff. So we'll see if that code comes back on when we get home. My guess is that it probably won't, but the EVAP one will, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Alright guys, so <clears throat> we're back home now and the, uh, my light didn't come back on yet. So we're just going to plug this tool in, we're going to plug the scan tool in, uh, just make sure, but the light didn't come on so uh, I stopped at the gas station too and um, you know so it's been shut off and turned on so probably drove 14 miles 10 14 miles so I don't know if that's really long enough but I feel like it would have picked up on it if it it would have at least picked up on the misfire um, pretty much right away that's just my uh, uh, my idea on that so here let's uh let's just see if it comes up with anything all right 
Enter. Just let it do its thing real quick. Code's found zero. So, I'm gonna call that. Let's see what else this thing can do. Vehicle info. Turn key on with engine off. Press any key to continue. Selected mode is not supported. Press any key to. All right, whatever. It probably doesn't know because this is first generation OBD2, so there's probably not much stuff that it can get off it. That's just my guess. But um, yeah, no code. So I'm gonna call that fixed. Uh, we don't have our um our thing anymore. Don't have our misfire anymore. So I'm gonna call that good. So. That's where we're gonna end this for right now today, guys. Um, hopefully this video taught you something because honestly it taught me something. So um, hopefully it taught you guys something or you enjoyed it or whatever else. Um, the light's on, but that's just because the key's not turned. Let's see, it goes away. So it's running good though. All right, guys, make sure to uh, Follow my social media, like this video and stuff like that. Subscribe if you're new and you made it this far. You might as well just subscribe. Um, also, Evil Ways on Instagram. Make sure to check him out because if it wasn't for him, honestly, I probably would have just gotten fed up and not done it and brought it somewhere and had them do it for me. So, guys, saved me a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, that's what, we're going to do that. Uh, that's all for today.